How do you tile a shower? How much does it cost to tile a shower? These are the top questions our customers are asking us. Hi, my name is Annalise and I am a manager at DNB Tile. Today we are going to show you how to tile a shower using our simple and complete do-it-yourself systems. I know you want to know, how much does it cost to tile a shower? At DNB Tile, we have made it easy with three separate systems based on quality with pricing to match. First, we have our base system, then our pro system, and finally the luxury VIP package for those of you who want the best and do it yourself. Don't worry. When you buy any of our How to Tile a Shower do-it-yourself systems, you'll receive links to more installation videos, the step-by-step -step instructions, and all the supplies needed. Yes, we thought of everything. And now let us show you How to Tile a Shower. Here we are at the warehouse with one of our complete do-it-yourself kits, the special instructions, and all the supplies needed, such as Hydrabrand board and waterproofing, grout, thin set, trowels, sponges, gloves, a pail, towel cutter, leveling system and spacers, nippers, caulking, and a drill bit. Now we're going to bring in Mike the installer, and he's going to show us how to tile a shower. Begin with the installation of Laticrete Hydroband board. Measure the area to receive the board. Write the dimensions down and take care to double check your measurements. Lay the Hydroband board flat on the floor or on a workbench. You may mark a line on the board or use a level as a straight edge to assist with making the cut straight. Using a utility knife, cut the board. You can cut the holes for the pipe protrusions with a screw gun with a drill bit or you can cut it with the razor knife. Draw lines marking where the studs are so you know exactly where to put all of the screws so you don't accidentally screw into a pipe. Using the supplied laticrete screws, fasten the hydroband board to the wood or metal stud framing. A hydroband board screw should be placed approximately every 12 inches along the wall studding and on every seam where the boards meet. Now that the board is installed, it's time to treat the seams and fasteners with the hydroband waterproofing. Pre-cut the hydroband waterproofing fabric with a utility knife to the length needed for the corners and seams, as well as any areas where pipes protrude. Apply a liberal coat of hydroband with a paintbrush on the area to receive the fabric. Press the fabric into the hydroband making complete contact with the liquid membrane. As soon as the fabric is in place, apply hydroband to the top of the fabric. Use the same procedure for all seams, corners and pipe protrusions. Be sure to cover all screw penetrations with hydroband. Allow these areas to dry to the touch. After the first coat is dry, apply another coat to the treated areas and allow the top coat to dry for one to two hours. Now we're ready to begin our layout. We're going to install this 12 by 24 running horizontal with the long length of the tile. 
Measure to determine the center of the back wall. After finding the center, determine what size cut the tile would be as it meets the adjacent wall. You can center a grout joint on the back wall or center the tile. One way will yield larger pieces than the other. We are centering the back wall with the center of the tile since this makes for larger cut tiles on the right and left side of our back wall. Draw a plumb line with a level so you know where to begin your work. Do the same procedure to determine the best size cuts for the tiles meeting the tub as well as the ceiling. Use the level to draw a horizontal line marking the bottom row. After the layout has been completed, you may begin mixing the thin set provided with your kit. Look over the directions on the bag. Add the ratio of water specified on the bag into an empty bucket. Add the contents of the bag and mix with a slow speed mixer for one minute or until a creamy consistency has been reached. Allow the mortar to rest in the bucket for five minutes. While the mortar is slaking, now is the time to pre-cut the tiles that will be installed just above the tub. Take measurements from your level line down to the tub. Allow a space of 1 8 of an inch between the tub and the bottom of the tile. Use the tile cutter to make straight cuts. Line the tile up and with a firm consistent motion score the tile from end to end. When scored correctly the tile will snap cleanly when the breaker is used to break the cut. If it does not break properly you may have used too much or too little pressure. Use the scrap tile to practice before moving on to the next piece. After the first row of tile has been cut you are now ready to install the tile. Remix the thin set mortar for one minute and grab the trowel supplied in your kit. Using the flat side of the trowel, apply a thin coat of mortar to the walls as well as the back of the tile. Then using the notched side of the trowel, comb the thin set mortar in straight lines parallel with the short side of the tile. After the thin set mortar is applied, press the tile on the wall and at the same time slide the tile from side to side. This action collapses the ridges and evacuates air between the comb ridges so your tile has maximum contact with the wall board. Following the installation of the tile, take a moment to clean excess mortar from the tile face and edges and then insert the base of the leveling system approximately 2 inches from the corners of the tile. Install the next piece of tile in the same manner. The base pieces of the leveling system also function as a spacer. After a section of tile is installed with pieces one beside the other, you may install the caps of the leveling system. Turn the cap clockwise on the base until the two tile surfaces are even. Be careful not to over tighten. Continue installing tile on the back wall. If the back wall is six feet or less from the tub to the ceiling, you can install the entire back wall before moving on to the side walls. Areas taller than 6 feet should allow the first 6 feet to dry overnight. When you're ready to begin the first side wall, start with the layout. Draw a level line that lines up with the grout joint from a tile on the previous wall. Determine where the bullnoser profile edging will be. The bullnose edge typically begins 2 to 3 inches just outside of the tub area. Again, cut the first course of tile that meets the tub. Take careful measurements around pipes and valves. To cut around pipes after taking measurements, you can use a core bit and drill a circle anywhere necessary on the face of the tile. Core bits are available in a wide range of sizes from D&B tile. Using a cordless screw gun, begin with the core bit at a slight angle. As the bit begins to bite, you can begin to trace the outline of the circle you're going to make and orientate the bit 90 degrees. Periodically add water to the bit to keep it cool and clean out the debris. You can make angle cuts using a wet saw or an angle grinder. Always use safety glasses when cutting tile with a mechanical saw.
After all the tile has been installed, you may begin grouting. Permacolor Select by Laticrete is provided with the kit. Begin by adding the appropriate amount of cool clean water as listed in the directions to a bucket. Add one color packet for a 12 pound bag of base or two color packets if you will be using a 25 pound bag of base. The color packet will begin to dissolve and you should mix until the pigment is dispersed evenly in the bucket. When the color packet is no longer visible, add the permacolor base and mix with a low speed drill for one minute. Wait five minutes and then remix prior to grouting. Hold the grout float at an angle of 45 degrees and force the grout into the joints. To remove excess grout, hold the float at a 90 degree angle and pull it at a 45 degree angle diagonally across the joints to avoid pulling out material. If the grout becomes stiff in the container, you may remix it for 15 seconds with the drill, but do not add water. Allow the grout to firm up in the grout joints. Refer to the wait time listed on the permacolor base bag to determine the amount of time between application and the first wash. Begin the initial cleaning by lightly wiping down the area to be cleaned with a damp sponge. Avoid excess water in the sponge. Work diagonally to the joints or with a light circular motion. After the joints look uniform and excess grout has been removed from the tile surface, drag the sponge diagonally in a straight pull across the surface using one pull per side of the sponge. After three hours, a final wash can be done to remove the remaining grout haze with a sponge. There you have it. 24 hours, your bathroom will be ready to use. Thank you, Mike, for showing us how to do that. So now that you have an idea on how to tile a shower, please visit howtotileashower.com to see our DIY systems, sign up to receive full instruction videos, special offers, or to contact a DMV tile expert to help you with your do-it-yourself project. Thanks, and we hope to see you soon.